Hey guys, I'm going to show you really quick how to utilize the props layer in ProPresenter 7, both for double wide and full screen screens. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, and this applies for both full screen and double wide, is I'm going to go to more, to props editor, and we're going to create our prop. So it defaults to prop 1, um, already sized for us, um, but I'm going to rename that check-in. And I'm going to make sure my size is correct. So it defaults to 1920 by 1080, which is actually perfect because for both double wide screens and for our single wide screens, we're going to be using 1920 by 1080. Um, you do have the option to do double wide, but for our purposes, we're going to stick to that. Um, so to actually add the content itself, go to the plus sign and then go to media. And within your documents, you're going to want to find that content. And here's my content. I'm going to hit open. And what's not really nice is that it actually sizes it perfectly for me, uh, which is really helpful. But you are more than able to adjust the size and placement. Um, but I'm going to leave it there because that actually fits really nice. So um, another thing you can do from this screen is you can choose a transition. Um, if you want, you can hit resolve and then whatever you want. I'm just going to put 0.6. Um, and now you have a transition for that. Um, so that is independent of the actual slide that this prop is going to be on top of, which is really nice. Um, so now that we have our prop created and ready to go, we are going to utilize our audience looks to determine where it's going to go and how it's going to be displayed on screen. So I'm going to do double wide first. Um, so I'm going to throw up a double wide slide here. Um, and I have my multi-viewer here, so up top you will see my double-wide configuration, and down here is my sides configuration and my center configuration. All can be found within screens under configure screens. So those are my screens right there, and that's what you're seeing in this window. So um, for double-wide, I'm going to go to screens and edit my audience looks, and so I'm using my double-wide content audience look. And so I've actually already done this, but this will probably be what it looks like on yours. Um, and so as of right now, I have everything selected for my double wide configuration, which is exactly how I want it for this prop, other than the fact that we actually want the prop to not display on our double wide configuration. I want it to only display on my sides configuration. So I'm going to make sure that that is checked. I'm going to hit make live to save my changes. And now when I exit out of this and this is already displayed. I can go up to my props menu here and we can control our props from here manually if we want to do that. So here you can't really see it's cut off but this is my check-in prop. So when I click on that it's going to display. And So I just clicked on it and you can't see it here um, but you can see it on my sides configuration in my multi viewer. So that is displaying correctly so on my actual audience screens this bar is showing up right where it needs to, only on the side screen. Um, so that's pretty easy. So it's not too bad, not too complicated, as long as you get your audience looks correct. Correct. So what's nice about this manual mode is that you can adjust the dissolve if you don't want to default, um, which I'm just leaving it to 0.6 for now. Um, but you can also um, clear each individual prop if you have multiple props open. But you can also hit clear all, and that will clear out any any of the props that you have. So I'm just going to hit clear all and you can see it disappeared from here which it also disappeared from my side screen. So that's what's really nice about being able to independently control the props. Um, another way to do this is if you right click on the slide you want it to start on and then you hit add action. Um, it's not going to be in this quick menu, it's going to be in the action palette. But as you can see it opens up a ton of them and props is an interactive action so you can click and drag that directly on top and then it'll ask you which prop you want to queue as you click on that slide and I'm gonna hit check in so then you hit done get out of this and now if you watch right here in my sides configuration multi viewer when I click on it it throws that up and now you can also clear it all from our clear all section here um, if you just want to clear that that way you don't have to have this props window open all the time. You can just queue it with this automatically and then you can clear all from here. So that is for double wide. Now for full screen it's very very similar. Um, I'm gonna switch to my full screen 
slide right here. This is my host name slide. Um, so you can see this is my side screen, and then this is the double wide screen. So that's just for my, the mask for the center, um, and that'll be my center. So that's actually covered up. But what you want to do is to set that up, you're going to want to go to screens, go to edit looks. Now I'm using full screen announcement slides. So I'm going to go to that guy. And right now, everything is checked for sides. Everything is checked for center. So when I go to cue my prop, because it's already selected for center, when I click on this bad boy, um, it's actually going to display on my sides. Now it also displayed on my center. So if we go back to my edit looks um, and my correct look, you can note it, you can see here that it's selected on the center. So this isn't a big deal for me because I have the mask and it's already covered up. But all you have to do is just deselect it, hit make live, and you can see it just disappeared from that. So that's super simple. And again, you can you control it in the same way that you would for the double wide. Um, but that is that is pretty much it. It's super simple, and it's really helpful because you can manually uh, or automatically control those. So that'll be super helpful for anything that you want to add to that. So that is about it. Um, let us know if you have any questions, and I hope that's useful for you guys.